Oops, this is Will, KMAC Vintage. I'm coming to you now with part two of the SE SE30 analog board recap. This video will cover the Sony CR44 power supply unit. This boy. Okay, so um, again, I'm making I'm making this video and the previous one as a request from a um, fellow collector and. The same person that I did the SE30 reloaded board for. Which, by the way, um, I do have more boards. So if someone wants a board, wants to wants me to do a, an actually reloaded board for them, um, I can they can send me their bomb board and um, send me the ROM too and memory and all that because I'll I will also check over that to make sure it's all good and. If most of the parts on your board are good, um, it'll be about a hundred and fifty dollar charge. Uh, plus, actually shipping back and forth. Uh, you won't have to ship to actually Cayman Islands. Um, it'll go to my house in actually Florida. I'll I will get it there. I'll bring it down here. I'll work on it here, and then on one of my trips back up, I'll take it up and I'll ship it out out again. Um, so. If you have a pretty good board that's just bombed and that, then it probably won't cost you much more. But if anything more, um, and if it's components I can get, I will try to get them, and and um, and then you'll pay extra for those items. So anyway, or I can sell you the board uh, alone, the board at cost, because I cannot make a profit on it. I and I do not want to make a profit on it. Um, I can, I do have some more boards. Um, and I can sell you those at cost. Um, but if so, contact me and then we can discuss it. Um, email is in the actually about page um, of the channel. So we have to work on this SE30, SE, SE30 power supply. So let's get right to it so that we can get done here. This is the power supply here. Sony CR44M44, uh, part number 6995047. So let's go ahead and get the sucker open. I'm put these in something else. So I'm not going to just put them in there. I had this open before. I think this power supply is actually pretty good, but because the person needs a video, I did buy the kits from someone to do it. But after looking at it, I saw that I really didn't need it. But if someone needs a video, yeah. here comes the video. And sometimes it's nice to have a bigger gut because my gut just saved that screw from falling. That was a holder. So I think that's it. Okay, cover comes off. The mat can come off. And we're left with that. This screw holds on this uh, this scotchy die a scotchy scotch key whatever thing they want to call it Rect the rectifier. Let's get these screws out so we can get this board out. See if there's some more. That's it. Three. Take a better look.
Nice. I like it at all the combat. So sweet. That makes it so nice to work on. Okay, so you have your you have your hot side and your DC side, your AC and DC side. Um So nicely labeled forward. I put something about uh, it's pretty close together. Something I may not take off this big one because this one is normally they don't go bad. It's not the big ones that are the problems. It's it's these little tiny ones that are the problem. So, I always do, I mark them, but this is going to be a lot easier to mark because I have them labeled here, so it should be easy to find. Like, for example, C162 is one of them, so let's see where we can find C162. Of course, C162 is the big one, and I'm not going to take that. So, C164. Sixty four, C one sixty five, C one sixty eight, fifty seven. So now we jump some of these small ones. No, no, so it should be somewhere right here. Looks like everybody marked these ones because that's where that's why it's red. That's why two fifty nine is already marked. 261, that's already marked, 262, 262 is up there, already marked, 263, uh, 263, where are you? 262, that's 269, 266, 2, 275, 263, 61, 62, 66, and that's 270. Okay, 263 is right there, 264 was right here too, I saw that. 264, 265, mm. 266, there's R265. 259. 270, 266, you'd be right here somewhere. 265 is a 47. 269. Mm, come on, come on, come on, where are you? 
269. Ah, there you are, you see? 265 right here. 265, 266 was over here. 269, 269 was right there. 270, 270 is right there. 275. 275 is right there, 276 is this one, then we have 279, okay, where is 279? Not 279, not 275, 276, 269, 270, where else do I have a little red mark? Trying to see where else there may be a little red mark sitting somewhere. Won't be on that side. Two eighty, two seventy, two seventy five, two seventy six, or two seventy nine, if we're two seventy four. Four seventy, four seventy is gonna be something pretty bigger. Ah, right there, 279, there you are. And of course, I did a lot of that outside of your view, and I am so sorry, I apologize. So we have them marked. So we're gonna take these off. Probably going to use my thinner wick because that's a bit easier to work with. So let's let's see if I get you into view. Okay, so we're going to start off with these two and this one. Those are the three on this side. Okay, so I got one, two, three. I'm not going to take out this big one. I'll put a little bit of flux here, 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 here. A little dab, that's it, not much. So let's go get the small one. And I think I need to put on my fan. My fume extractor. My head in the way. Sorry, I, I'll try to do this further away. Caps really don't need to be done. The power supply is in really good shape. But because I need a video. I'm doing this video. So Those. There's already some flux in here. 
Uh, tweezers, tweezers. I need to pull this out with some tweezers. Okay, we go. So we have three out already. I need to put some solder back at this one leg that I removed by accident there. Okay. Now I'm going to do this one a bit different. So, um, I brush. We're already here. I want to go ahead and put this. So I will take off and put on. I'm not going to use the big one. So what do I need here? This is for C one sixty eight. C one sixty eight is a one hundred by sixteen. I can turn that down for now. So I need to find my 100 by 16. Small little sucker. 100 by 16, right here in my hand. Okay, so I found the 100 by 16. Again, we have long leg. It's positive, short is negative. Even on the back side here, it's showing you positive is away from me. Okay, so it's even showing you here, it's even giving you the symbol. Okay, and when I turn this over, I can see from this side also. Okay, and it's showing me where positive is. So I need my tweezers here to help me guide this one in because this one is in a tight spot. There we go. And the legs. Okay, so that one is in. Now my next two ones is 164 and 165. That's the 4.7 4 by 350. I have that are two that look alike. 4.7 by 350. So seven. So they look like this. They're like this. That's it. So these small ones are replacing these bigger ones. Okay. Originally what came off is a 4.7 by 350. What's going on is a 4.7 by 400. Voltage going up is fine. That's not a problem. Um, the one thing I do want to do though, which I didn't do, is I want to clean a little bit on this side. Okay. Again, we have positive side, long, which is the long leg. I just want to buff again positive leg long stick that into the positive side down okay, so we have the three here that we need to solder back on so let's go ahead and take care of that soldering tubes I'm going to go back and do that one leg, but it was easier for me to do this one and get it out of the way. Okay, I'm going to do solder good.
So my Dutch team from Netherlands has to play Argentina on the 9th, which would have been my father's birthday. But he passed away five years ago tomorrow. Um, really miss him every day, boy, I tell you. I learned a lot of my ways, a lot of my methods of doing things that like you see me doing here. I learned from him. Okay, so great man. Never even finished high school, but is a brilliant engineer, self-taught everything. Did some massive, massive construction projects back home. The only one that was allowed to import and use dynamite on that island. Did a lot of construction and demolition for Ash for Ash for Ashley Shell Oil Company. But uh, anyway, so Holland is playing in Argentina. Okay, and uh, that's going to be pretty interesting because Holland is not expected to win, but I don't know. Why would they be playing on my father's birthday? Let's see. All right, so let me put, let me take off some of these here. Sorry, I need to bring up the fume extractor again. You can see what I'm doing there, right? It'll be interesting. Holland beats Argentina. That would be an interesting thing on my father's birthday. It's fifth birthday up there. Or wherever he is out there. And whatever other form his life form is in. Where he went, who knows? He could be sitting right here next to me, guiding me, and I don't even know it. You are, thank you, Father. I can't tell you how many times when I'm working on something, right? And I'm stuck. And I can say that. Guide me to the right spot of where I need to do or what I need to fix. And not all the time, but a lot of times I go fix something and holy moly, it fixes it. So, let me believe my own circus, my own faith, my own idea. You never know. So, I... We all go sometime somewhere, right? Got three there, moose. A lot of ground here, a lot of copper. Uh, 
other when I see this wick sucking at that saw. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Well, this has got a lot of copper, so this may not move so fast. This one I gotta get in the same. Okay, where else did I have to put some flux here? Is that really something I can do under the microscope with this? And I guess I could, I could adjust it, I could adjust it actually how you Cut this a bit long on me. So yeah, I mean, I, uh, my father also retired at a young age at 44. Um, so luckily I was able to retire at 52. All right, so let's see if we can get somebody down. Um, some of these do have legs that are bent. Three of them do pop them. Cool. This is here to pop two of one. There we go. Now we're left with this one. And she's out. Okay, did I unsolder those small ones there? No, but I did unsolder all of those. All that's left now is this little area here. So we're gonna do a clean here. I'm gonna get rid of the red marker. Holes are fairly clean because I didn't have any leakage here. I mean, these are. I really like them pretty good and clean. Only one or two here I see I may want to touch up. Okay, we're pretty good there. Uh, I can turn this off a little bit while we put in the caps. Okay, so let's see, what do we need now? 
Still in his little corner here. C259. 259 is a 470 by 16. Uh, 470 by 16. There, I picked it up. Let's put this in this in this here. Long leg, long leg, positive is in towards the board. Towards my right, this side. Put that in. Okay. I like to do some of these middle ones. So let me start from over here and work my way down. Okay. So 262, 262 is so a 3,000 16 so, so I think this is it here so that's 262 double check 262 3300 by 10 3300 by 16 that will go there y'all can see what I'm doing I know I know this cables in your way positive is is down so long leg Ball. Next one is 266. 266 is 2200 by 16. And I do think 2200 by 5. I should have three of those, right? One, two, three. Yes, so it's this one. Again, long leg. It now is up. Positive. Put that in there. 258, 258 is 6,800 by 10. Wow, that's a strange number. 6,800 by 10. Positive is to my right. Okay, is that way. Is that way. You see how I'm working it where it's easy for me to get to, right? Next one is... That looks like 279. 279 was your 470 by 16. Gonna be one of these small ones. 470 by 16. Oh, that's burning. That's burning. Smells like burning. Mm. All right. So 279 positive is to my right in my right hand. Next one is 263, 263 is 2,200 by 16, there's another one of these long ones, 2,200 by 25 are going in, positive is to my left, long leg that way, this one is 257, 257 is the 4,700, which I think is this one, yes, Positive is to my left, so this way. It's a long leg. And the last one up there is C261. Oh no, so I got two more. C261. 261 is the other 2200. Positive is to my left. And then the last one there, 264, 264 is a 470 by 16, so that's going to be this other one like this. And double check, 470 by 16. Long leg is towards the right, so that will go like that. And that goes in. Okay. Now all we're left is with four small ones, and that's over here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. That should be five. Oh, yeah, here it is. Okay. All right, so solder time. Yeah, we solder all these in. Ooh, getting hungry. It's almost seven o'clock. Okay. Let's go do some solder work. All right, sorry, I'm going to have to turn on the vent again, the fan. Okay, so let's start solving these. We'll start them up here. I'm trying not to cover the camera. Okay. 
vamos a mejorar. Copper there, but I want to make a nice mound. Not gonna get hot a bit because it's a big area. Move it all the way around. Okay, it's gonna be the other one. Get this one here. And let's see if we can go ahead and stand that one up. Stand that one up. See, when you stand them up too, they get out of your way for the other ones. Almost there, almost done. I'm done with this section. We still got five more to go. One more there in the middle. All right, now I want to see how level these are. That before I cut it. Looks pretty good. Okay. So Turn that off for now, and let's start doing our snip snip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Okay, so we have five more left to pull out. Let's go pull those out now. I already have them marked. One, two, three, four, five. So they should be fairly easy to come out. One over there. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's go. This one's going to be a bit more delicate, so I may be blocking the screen of the camera. But I apologize for that. Smaller, so it'll be harder for me to see. So, let's make sure we have the right ones. One. Five little cockroaches. Oh, that's it. All my garbage is over here. Let's see how clean it uh, looks. Yeah, I gotta clean. Definitely some. Let's put some solder back on. Let's 
positive. I see one spot. I see two spots. Get some solder off. I should enough, so let me fix those quick. of the repairs okay, my head is in the way it's just I gotta look I gotta see it better with the light so. all right we're good uh, let's check the other side again make sure it's not too messy See them up here too. Let's get to it. Okay, first position. Let's get, let, let's get the hard one in there first. Let's take it. That one is C two fifty three. Do I have a C two fifty three? No, it's not C two fifty three. It's C. Sorry, I'll, I'll get it when I solder it. Uh, two sixty nine. Two sixty nine. Two sixty nine is a one by fifty. So, pretty sure it's one of these. No. Nope. Positive is to my left. Positive is that way. So long leg goes in that hole. Yes. Okay. Now I'm gonna do this one a little different here. I'm gonna let's I got I can solder something right next to the two that I unsoldered by accident. Okay, so One is 276, 276 is a 22 by 25, I guess, I think these are these, 22, 22 by 50 instead, okay, yeah, that's 276, 276 is over here, positive is down towards me, It just hit me. It just hit me. I did some work on that VI board. I think I know what the problem is. Seventy five, I'll put that in seventy five. Yes, that's the other twenty two by fifty. Hmm. Okay. I'll put that in. Positive is my right, so long leg to my right. Let me snip these that I've already done. So. Okay, we only got two.
next I only got two left so 270 270 is the other 22 by 25 so for them I already cleaned the logic board the analog board for the alcohol tub I have a big plastic container that I can put stuff in. 270 positive is down it's down in the long run it's down so let me get this last one anyway 265 i'll make sure it's the correct one 265 47 by 25 this is not a 47 by 25 are you yes you are jeez they're small for 47 by 25 okay positive is down towards me towards the table so long leg solder both of those at the same time No more, that I don't need no more. This I don't need no more. This I don't need no more. Be using the next turn. Alright, snip snip is done. I don't have anything big. I want to do that, do a quick glance on this. Uh, See something there to touch and solder on that. They can't touch anyway because they're on the same plane. Check it under my scope, so you're gonna get to see that. Oh, it is on. Okay, so let's go to the scope view. Yeah, they are on the same plane. Yeah, it's okay if those two touch. It's these two right here. But they're on the same copper cop on, on, on the same trace. So with that then I can actually fix this. Once there's a quick glance. I know it's out of focus, it's out of focus for me too, but it's just for me to do a quick glance. Okay, we're good. We are good. Okay, now you may be asking why i did not take out this big one okay because one 
it doesn't go bad too often okay and the second thing is is i mean it's gonna be hard if i'm not mistaken i think this is one of the ones that i have to re-drill this okay i mean i can take it off and show you and then put it back it doesn't matter but i mean yeah let me do that because then you could then you get an idea of what i'm talking about um i'm gonna zoom this in a little bit more and i think i'm gonna bring the camera back some okay right here all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna take that take this one out it's gonna take a lot of heat because it's big copper this I'll use the bigger wick and let me up my heat and bring this to about 380 but it should clean up pretty good I mean it should suck up most of the it's already falling out okay all right look at how those legs are post look look at how those posts are okay i don't even want to call them legs i mean they're, they're practically posts okay and i would have to i mean you see how that goes in oh you can't see the one next to it okay you see how big those these posts are and they're angled they are right angle from each other and this is not. I mean, I'm here and here. Okay. So whatever way I try to put this in, okay, because I remember I did one of these before and I just left it because I did not want to drill it, okay? That their answer is because you have a lot of ground plane here you see all this ground plane you have you can you can technically re, you can technically re actually drill the positions for this to go in and still be on that ground plane and you can still clean you can you can scrape some of the solder mask off and you have and you have a soldering point okay and i didn't want to do that because these don't go these big ones don't really go bad okay so i'm going to put it back in so that's why i did not take it that's my that's my reasoning behind it i don't want to be drilling into the board All right, so now you know why, and I'm going to leave this one on. These big boys don't, they're not the ones that give you the trouble. It's the little ones, the same thing as the little girls are the ones, the tiny ones, the petite ones are the ones that always are the ones that are the most feisty. Now I'm probably going to get a, a lot of hate messages about that. Okay. All right. That's that. And done soldering it.
So this is a saber. This one I'll have to put away. Now I have two. I have two actually blue scuzzies that are actually USB based. Look at what, look at what weirdness my video is doing there. It's 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 like the silver pieces are moving, but not the but not the not the green. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know if that's just on my side or if that's what's being recorded also, but I am gonna give this a, a better back on the bigger alcohol. Okay, so we have this recapped. That's That's straightforward. Here's all the junk from this recap. If you saw my other video earlier about the uh, about the um, connector post that I used on the classic analog uh, analog board for me to get audio, okay. All I did was I took one of these legs and I would bent it in half. Like that, squeeze it together. I mean, really squeeze it. Then I end up with something like this. See, I would trim it a bit, and I would solder this right onto, right onto the, right onto the wire. On the, on the back of the board. Okay, and then they'll be sticking up, and then that would be posts where then I can just slide this right over it because this will go right into that okay and that's how I would have an external speaker on the analog board from the back side think you gotta sometimes think outside the box that some of those analog boards how they are in those all-in-ones you can't really get what you need to so you have to improvise all right, so I'm going to pause this video. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pause it. Uh, pa I'm going to pause the actually recording. I'm going to go clean this, let it dry. I'm going to have dinner at the same time as I'm going to eat. Then I'll come back and we'll put it together. We'll put everything together. And we'll do a test on it and see how it all works. All right, I'm pretty sure it will be okay. I hope. Uh, my only cap kit I had for this. So. I hope I didn't, I hope I didn't mess it up. Anyway, um, so I'll be back, okay, folks. I'll be back as soon as I can, as soon as I finish cleaning this, this dries, and I get something to eat. All right, I'll be back. Not that I um, I know it may look like no time has passed, but um, I paused the video. I went to do the cleaning on this on these boards, and I had some food to eat, and now I'm back to finish up this video. So let's um, let's put this back into the power supply and then attach that back to the analog board and put them in the machine. So we will go into this video and the other way around. Back in this board, drop the board back in this case. Need three to hold the board in. Side of the case.
here. Back here. Uh oh crap. Uh I forgot one thing. I don't think I can. Yeah. I forgot one thing, guys. Make sure that when you put this back in, you notice that there is a groove that the other's edge, this corner has to go in. Man, I didn't do that right. So I've gotta go in that groove for it to lock in. That's that's locks in. Because there is no screw in that back corner. Those are down. We can put this back in. Okay. And we have this that needs to go on to hold this scotchy. The, the scotch key, whatever thing it is. Put it there first. Go. Right, this has to connect down here. Only one way that can go on. And we're on. Two long ones are to hold these in, and the three shorter ones are for the case. Okay, so we are at this point here now. Uh, this comes on. Now this, okay. If you notice this, these latches have to go in and then slide down, okay? So, we'll go in and slide, and these will go down. This will go down. All right, we got the two long screws. Okay. Then we got two short screws that better go here. And the ground is on this side because it sits there. Like that. You can always adjust the ground when it's in the case. That's closed. 
All right. Now we bring the nice clean analog board back. See, I cleaned the back. Nicely put in place. This will sit back on here. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and secure a little bit of this. I'm going to tighten them all the way down because I need a little bit of play in it when I go to put this. Put this in the, in the case. It needs to have a little bit of freedom to move around. So we are back on there. That's connected to the board. Let's hope we don't have a pop blow up test this okay so we'll get the sucker back in here I'm going to take this off because I don't want to take the risk of breaking that neck board. Well, that neck. This is good. The only thing I don't like about these. Sometimes it's easier to put in the power supply first and then attach the the logic board. I may have to go back and do that. Nope, I'm gonna... Did it just fall in place? Yes, it did. Ah, okay, there we go. <laughs> in place okay, so now I'm gonna tighten I'm gonna tighten the power supply to the logic board logic board, analog board, I'm sorry. Well, I'll the switch, it scared the crap out of me. Let me go and secure this to the board because it will help it that it doesn't slide so much. this will lock it in place okay there are two screws back here that's got a metal a metal flange in let's say that you gotta go around the board and that brings the ground okay then up in front up here too there are two more 
Uh, hold the board. To the to the housing. Okay, let's tighten the rest of these screws with the power supply. Should have done all, all these cables beforehand, huh? Okay, we have that one. It's ready connected. We have the one for the logic board that goes there. for the power supply for the power for the hard drive and there's no hard drive in here but i still leave the cable the cable belongs to it then the one for the neck board okay, we can connect the neck board Then go connect that back in. I didn't do was check my solder joints, but this board is fairly good. I mean, I, I, I recall doing that before. Now my ground here is a bit off, so I do need to loosen the screw. It doesn't need to turn. It's going to go from the top. Last thing we need to do now is to attach this ground from the neck board back up here in the corner. Boy, I pray we don't have a boom or a snap crack pop and smoke. Anyway, uh, double check everything. Neck board connected, 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 connected. Power supply power going in, logic board going in, neck board going in, and hard drive power going in. We have everything connected. Now, uh, here come the two things we need keyboard, power. No boom yet. Let's turn off this light so you can see. It, but anyway, okay, let's see. We have chime, we have everything powering up. How come I don't have video? How come I don't have video? Do I? Yes, I do, but it's very faint. Okay, there is video there. Uh, I'll probably have to do some adjustments. Um, there's only two adjustments on this board though that I know of. All the rest are, are internal. But yes, there is video. We are there. I'm mistaken, I can get to these from the back side. Yes, I can, but what does it take? Okay. Uh, I'll turn it back around in a few seconds. Let me ask, let me see what sort of adjustments I can do to this.
that's for recap. I think it's a quick time, it can't load. Have to answer something here. Uh, yeah. Someone, um, a young, a young teenager. He bought a two C for me and is working on it actually restoring it because I didn't have time to restore nothing. So he's asking me some things about the keyboard because it's a, a it's a A two M um, it's a it's an actually four thousand unit and it's, um, instead of the forty one hundred and the keyboard on that is older so it's, it's not too good of a keyboard and it's older it's a different feel and all that to it yes I can understand that um, but it does need some work. Um, sorry, I'm just trying. I'm, I just bypassed actually, um, actually extensions. There are some extensions that are not working. So, we are good and stable. So, um, so here, file about, yeah, Macintosh 4 Max, 7.5. So, we are good, everyone. The recap work, that's it. Um, not much else to this. Oh, the one thing I need to do, I need to put this plastic cover back on. Not plastic, but this cardboard cover. All these little things go in, and I have to open. Let me turn this light back on. So, pitching it back together. 
That's just the way I do it. Don't mind me. Okay, that's back on there. No, there are three adjustments, four adjustments. So, so yeah, you can do wider. Focus, cut off. No, that's the one I did. I did the cut off. Height and width. So, um, I guess that's the one I needed to do was, was the cut off. Okay, so we are good with this. And if you notice on this one, I have the special 3D printed bracket to hold the blue SCSI and the expansion port. Um, it is on Tinker Difference. Um, everyone else has been talking about it recently and, and showing it off, but um, it is out there. It has a nice feature you can do if you can print in clear. You can even print an LED LED re redirection um, piece that you can put in there. The memory card just slides in. Now, it's a bit tight, but I mean, I can use my tweezers and I can pull out the card. See, so it makes it nice, nice and accessible. Um, so yes, you can find this on Tinker Difference and Tinker Difference on actually Thingiverse. Um, that's where I found it. So, oh boy, all my solder dust spilled. Uh, so we can close this back up. Okay. I do have a cover to go here. I just don't know where to put it. It's sitting right here. I think it broke. Nothing to hold it. Nothing to hold it. Alright, so screws, the two black ones are back here. Brown color, let's say that. Or the two metal screws are back here. The two plastic threaded are up in front.
think we'll be watching these videos a bit later. I'm not sure. Okay, so let's give it another test. So. Hard drive light here should be blinking also. Yes, it is. I don't know if you can see that, but it, it should be blinking. Yeah, I you can see it blinking. So that's connected to, to the blue SCSI. This is the blue SCSI that I can't seem to update either, and it is actually a USB able. But my Windows machine is so screwed up. I mean, I I, I may make I I gotta for certain things you just can't use Windows. I'm sorry. Okay. We are good. This has been recapped. I keep my notes here on the machine, so I will update this. Uh, let's see. No recap. Okay, so now I'll put here re recap. What's today's day? Today is. December 5. That's here. No, no hard drive used. Blue SCSI. I need to put 7.0.1. I don't have an image of 701. I, I need to make one or I need to find one. Okay, so this machine is done. Uh, recap done. Scott, that means that your video for recapping is done. I know you are able to do it. You have the confidence um, and just the patience to work on it. Recap your own analog board. Um, you're the one that asked for it. I mean, you're the one that I have your reloaded um, SE30 board that I'll send to you. I should have my 64 pin SIM adapters by Friday. They are leaving Miami tomorrow and get down here tomorrow. Then they got to clear customs and all that. So I would say by Friday, Saturday, I should have them. So I will be able to come up with that board when I come up on the 19th and, and, I, and I actually ship it to you. Um, I will do a test again on it before I wrap it up and, and bubble wrap and everything. And because it and about 10 other boards have to go into my suitcase um, for me to take up. So I do have a lot of boards. Um, so also anyone that needs an actually reloaded SE30 board, um, either I can do the transfer for you, there is a charge, or I can sell you a board at cost, uh, you pay shipping. I do not make anything off of that. Um, I, um, Bowl, who designed it and did all the hard work with his other group of people, do not want you to make profit on it so I will not make a profit on it I will sell it at what it cost me which is about 20 um, 23 dollars 24 dollars uh, some, something like that I think is what it costed me each board they are the better ones they're purple so they're nice um, I, that was my first reloaded that I did and it worked um, so um, it's not a very hard task it can be done uh, recapping analog boards too it's not a hard process just take your time and do it and just have confidence that you're able to do it double check your work triple check it sometimes I go back and I use my red marker here and I look at each cap again to make sure that the polarity is correct if it is correct I put a I put a red dot on it that way I know clean 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 and clean over again um, that makes a big difference um, uh, be actually neat when you do the work. Double check that you did not unsolder something something adjacent and that you don't have any bridges or anything that is touching that's not supposed to be touching. Um, so uh, just take your time with it, okay? 
anyway this is it this will wrap up this session this actually series um and i will be moving on to my next video um i don't know if that will be tonight but um maybe maybe not we'll see anyway uh, everyone thanks for watching if you liked it thumbs up if you want to do a donation to the board i mean to the channel um there is a donation link in the about i'm not sure if it works because no one has ever used it yet so please give it a try it'll be nice even if, even if it's just for two dollars three dollars for a coffee it'd be nice um if it doesn't work you can email me and we can figure out a way to do something okay anyway thank you everyone and bye bye